Solar flares may seem like faraway events, but they can damage satellites and even ground-based technologies and power grids. Every 11 years, as the sun reaches its maximum activity, they become bigger and more common, and that increases the chances that one will significantly affect Earth. So what are these solar eruptions? A solar flare is basically an explosion on the surface of the sun, ranging from minutes to hours in length. Large flares can release enough energy to power the entire United States for a million years. Flares happen when the powerful magnetic fields in and around the sun reconnect. They are usually associated with active regions, often seen as sunspots, where the magnetic fields are strongest, which can affect Earth and other objects in the solar system. As the sunspots increase, so does the frequency and severity of flares and CMEs. The sun's 11-year cycle is a symptom of a longer 22-year cycle called the solar cycle, or hail cycle, which affects the sun's magnetic fields. Every 11 years, the sun's poles flip. North becomes south and south becomes north. So every 22 years, the poles return to the position where they started the cycle. The flip is due to the complex movement of magnetic fields inside the sun that are constantly stretching, twisting, and crossing as solar material bubbles up from the sun's core. But the exact pattern of movements is not yet mapped out. Because the sunspot cycle follows a similar pattern regardless of the orientation of the poles, it only takes half as long as the solar cycle. The two cycles are different, but the 11-year sunspot cycle is often referred to as the solar cycle, which can be a little confusing. Right now, the sun is approaching solar maximum, so flares and CMEs are more common than they were a few years ago. This cycle may peak in 2013 or early 2014, and should reach its minimum around 2020, although predictions about the sun are still uncertain. The slower-than-expected progress of this sunspot cycle has led some to speculate that the next sunspot cycle might be very minimal, with few sunspots even at solar maximum. It is still far too early to know. But even if this is the case, it has happened before and isn't something to worry about. It just means that the sun would briefly be a little closer to the unchanging orb it looks like from the ground.